Hashtag DigLife. Hello vapers and vapies. Today's video is all about the Digiret closed tank system. Alright guys, today we are trying out the Digiret. This is what it is. And you open it up, it's so easy to use too. It's like three steps. It says, are you ready? And there it is. Look at it. Doesn't even look like a vape. This one did come with a light tobacco flavor tank, but I'm not gonna use that. Underneath the layer, you have the user's guide. You have the charge cord and wall adapter, as well as some mouthpieces. So here is the device, it's so smooth. Here's the button, the charge port. This is a 2000 milliamp hour battery. Here's where you put in the tank cartridge. And this starter kit that comes with the device and one flavor pack is $49.95. They do have quite the selection of flavors and these little flavor packs individually are $6.95 and they have five mils of e-liquid in there. So there is so many flavors and I am kind of skeptical because of like they just kind of remind me of pre-filled cartridges. But there's some here that sound good to me like Strawberry Bliss, Baker's Dream, and Vanilla Cream. So I'm going to do Baker's Dream and also Strawberry Bliss. So I'm going to try these two out today, and they are available in zero, six milligrams nicotine. I saw zero milligrams, three milligrams, five, and six milligrams. And these e-liquid cartridges are certified diacetyl and AP free, 100% made in the USA. So I'm going to go ahead and start with the strawberry one, and I'm just like, I'm so hoping this tastes good, because, I mean, right now I am skeptical. <laughs> it looks like a little ink cartridge for like a printer. Check it out. There it is, and it comes with the mouthpiece. I'm just gonna pop it out of here. Huh, interesting. And you just take off this little knobby. And you also want to remove the plugs on the side right here. That is for the airflow. There's also a plug on the bottom you wanna remove. And you also kind of install it like you would an ink cartridge for a printer. You do it like that and then you click it in. And these were the mouthpieces that came with it just in case maybe you want someone else to try and you don't want their germs on your mouthpiece. So it's ready to go, five clicks turns it on. It's super lightweight, you can see the button flashing right there. It does also have an indicator light, so green is fully charged, white is about 75%, red is low. So I guess I'll try it. It's so light for like a 2000 milliamp hour battery in here. It's so light and it is like plastic so it's kind of weird but like I guess we go now I don't know I'm kind of nervous well the flavor's not that bad that wasn't very great vapor production but we'll try it again definitely getting better vapor production the longer I take a drag obviously but I was like a little apprehensive at first the flavor's not that bad at all for a pre-filled thing. It does, it is liquid in there, and you can't refill these, they're just ex a disposable, but you can see the liquid in there. So it's totally different from like a pre-filled cartridge like what I was anticipating. It is not that bad at all. Like I totally was like, oh no, this isn't gonna taste good. But it's not, it's not bad. It's not the greatest. I've definitely had way super stronger and sweeter e-liquid flavors before. And it's like, gotta figure out how to hold it. But it's not bad, not bad at all. So I'm wondering, because I popped this in, if I pop it out while it's still full, is it gonna leak everywhere? Because I wanted to try the other flavor, the Baker's Dream. We shall see. Huh. No. It's not coming out anywhere. So it looks like we're good to go to uh, switch out flavors. Cool. That definitely is a plus in my book, that you can switch out flavors even if you haven't finished your tank full. So I'll show an up close of what you're supposed to do. We'll see, Baker's Dream, it's got a little whisk. You can see the e-liquid in there. So you take this off, obviously, because that's where your mouth goes. You take these two things out. Pop one, Oop, falling on the floor. Pop two, oh, come on. It's hard with nails, guys, look. <laughs> And you also take this bottom piece out right here. And installing it is super easy. You just go in at an angle like an ink cartridge and pop it down. Ready to go. See it's flush with that. There are the airflows. Definitely don't cover those up while you're vaping it. Yeah. 
can't really smell it through here. I'm <laughs> trying to see what it might taste like by how it smells. Ooh. There's definitely some cinnamon in here. It's definitely a pastry and it's not bad at all. This is actually probably better to me than the strawberry one only because I'm really picky when it comes to strawberry. But this is nice and sweet and I love dessert flavors so I actually don't mind this flavor at all. Yum! This one definitely gets a thumbs up from me and now that I've tried these two definitely feel like some of those other flavors will probably be good too. There's vanilla cream and like cinnamon in there so I probably would like those as well but you saw they had quite a big selection of flavors and I read that they are also introducing new flavors as well. Mmm! I like this flavor the best out of these two I just tried. So this is interesting. It's it's not like a normal vape, so it's like kind of weird, kind of cool, new. If you guys want to see a one month update, let me know down in the comments below. If I get enough requests, I can definitely make that happen because I'm pretty interested in it and I want to see how long, like how long it'll last me. It is five mils and my coopty is five mils, so I'm used to having like a five mil limit to when I, until I have to change a flavor. But I just want to I just want to play around with it. It's just so freaking simple and kind of a really neat idea to me. I will leave a link below to where you can check this out for yourself. It does come in a couple different colors. I wish it came in pink. Um, if you've tried the Digiret yourself, let me know down in the comments below what you think of it. Quite intrigued by it and it works just great out of the box. It gets a thumbs up for me from my first look. But that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, give it a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe to this channel for more vape videos. Check the description box below for important links like where to get my favorite things like e-liquids, mods, etc. You can follow Follow me on almost any social media site like Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook at Tia Vapes. I also have a second YouTube channel where I upload random videos of whatever I feel like that are not vaping related. So if you want to see more of me, you can check out that channel. All those social media links will be below. And one more thing before you go, if vaping is something you're passionate about, please consider joining Casa.org and follow NotBlowingSmoke.org. Join all the vaping advocacy groups to get in the know of how to fight for your right to vape because it is so important more now than ever that you do so. And with that being said, I'm Tia Vapes and thank you so much for watching. Okay Taz, come on. You've been good he, until the very end. He didn't bother me. He tried to get in my lap a couple times, but he was quiet and just hanging around the room. Now he wants to mess with all the stuff on the floor, like the little boxes, all those other flavors, cartridge boxes are just on the floor right here.